Hey, how's everybody doing? What's up, guys? It's been a while, hasn't it? So much has happened since, um... Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Uh, so much has happened between the last stream and this stream. <laughs> Who boy! I've got stories to tell. How am I- how am I sounding in terms of, uh, audio? Like, uh, I'm- I'm kind of running a new desktop setup. A uh, new mic arm, everything's, like, uh, fresh out of a box, so... I sound good? Perfect. That's good to hear. I'm glad. My legs are fine. Thank you for asking. Um, yeah. It's been... It's been a hot minute, guys. It's been a hot second. So much has happened. Como tuvieron la fiesta patria, no tuve tiempo para celebrarlo. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been wild, guys. Uh, there's, uh, there's so much I need to tell you. Yes, my legs are still intact. Um, yeah, where do I start? <laughs> so, um, I moved, I've officially moved. I am now residing in, uh, in the Los Angeles area. I'm now... Uh, a, a West Coaster. So, wahoo. Uh, to any West Coasters in chat. Hey, I'm... I am here now. Um... California... Yeah, so, it's been... It's been... I, I literally, like, got here on last Wednesday. Um... West Coast, Best Coast? You know it. Um, hopefully I can do more West Coast cons and stuff. Like, I think it's easier for cons to invite locals than it is to fly people from Texas. So, um, there's that. But yeah, that's been, that's been what, that's what I've been busy with. Um, where was I before? Texas. I moved from Texas. Uh, yes, that's when, I, the, the song, the Cave song, I'm gonna talk about it later. Just, let's, let's do things one at a time. There's a lot to cover, uh, before we jump into Genshin. Um, so yeah, I moved, uh, here, uh, cause there's more work for me in LA than there is in Texas. Um, so, yeah, it's been, uh, most of my time recently has just been getting acclimated, moving stuff, doing paperwork, uh, and also going to work at studios. I've, I'm already getting places that want me to do stuff. Um... So, yeah, it's been it's been really good. Uh, the move's been going really well. It's it's exhausting, uh, but I'm doing good. I'm doing well. And I was like, I really need to stream soon, because uh, I wanted... I missed streaming. I wanted to see... I wanted to see my... I want to see my gamers. Um... So, yeah. It's... That's... That's uh, object number one. I've been doing so many cons. Like, I've been... I've By so many cons, I mean, like, two cons. Gamers. Um... And I've met... I, so, so many people came up to me at the cons and were like, I saw your streams! Or, like, I saw the videos, or, like... I've seen... A lot of people came by and talked about the stream, so... Uh, to anybody that, you know, hung out with me in... Oh my god, so many subs and stuff. Thank you so much, guy. I'll go through... I'll go through the subs uh, in just a second. Um, yeah, uh, I met pe some people at Anime Impulse. I met some people at Windbloom. Uh, it's just been wonderful. Uh, so to anybody who came by to say hello, yeah, Supreme. I also I, I met Supreme there too. So thank you so much for stopping by. Okay. Like it's shit's great. Um, yeah, it was. Good stuff. Europe, I, I know people in Europe want me out there. I will do my best to, I will tell my uh, agent to, um, to get, send me out there. <laughs> Cause I really, I've got family in Europe, so I want to be able to. Yeah, the spider stitch! I still have it in my room. Um, or rather it's in a box somewhere. So much of my stuff is still in boxes, guys. I was almost not going to have a stream deck for this, um, for this, uh, stream. But I found it at the last second in one of my boxes. Because I legit was like, I don't know where it is. How am I going to do my funny voice, my funny noises like... 
Jeez, that's way louder than I thought it would be. Um, so yeah. Uh, stuff is going great. Uh, soon there's going to be a thing that I'm going to announce that's probably going to push uh, me to more cons. Not to, you know, toot my horn or anything. But more stuff is going to be coming soon, so hopefully I'll be able to go to a con near you! Um, so yeah, if you want me at a con near where you live, just email that con. Just hit him up and be like, yo, I know a cool guy. It's, it's, it's Ben. And yeah, Deco's here. Hey, Deco. Thank you so much for, for gifting five subs. I really, really appreciate you. Um, yeah, I'd love to go to Spain. I've got family there, so I would- I- I'm probably am gonna go to Spain even if I don't go to a con, so... Yeah. Um, let me just go through... Jamón? Jamón Ibérico? Oh, me encantaría. Um... Let me go through some thanking some subs. Uh, thank you, Dojo the Great, for three months of T1. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Miss Slothrop, for two months of T1. Thank you. Yoshigo Step, thank you for four months. Uh, Auto... Autotomises, uh, for three months, T1, thank you. Uh, Cameron, Cameron New, thank you so much for three months, T1. Uh, Lumix Double X, thank you so much for t your T1. Welcome to the sub brigade. Um, Starspell, thank you so much for three months, T1. Y'all, do I get Pokemon Violent or HHPF or Animal Crossing? Also three months, Yippee wah Wahoo. Oh, HHP for Animal Crossing. What is HHP? Happy Happy Home Paradise? I think that that's the better listen. I don't like modern Pokemon as much as the the average bear. So I, I vote for the Animal Crossing thing. Uh, Angel Midnight, thank you so much for five months. Ben, ben Bev Ook, thank you so much for the Ook. Dusty Evergreen, thank you so much for four months. Hello Ben, hope you're doing well. I'm doing fine and dandy now that I'm here. Um, Lady Lee's, thank you so much for four months of Prime, and I missed you guys too. It was, it's, it's good to be back. Uh, Itsuka, thank you so much for three months, T1 sub. Uh, Holly T, thank you so much for your Prime sub, welcome. Uh, Jube Gaming, thank you for two months, T1 sub. Frost Hell Over, thank you so much for three months, T1 sub, really appreciate it. Uh, s stay tuned, thank you so much for your Prime sub. Yeah, Kave would absolutely. I I would be down to play a you know, Happy Home Paradise uh, on stream at some point. Uh, Demon Key, thank you so much for your five months at T1. I want to rem I want to remind her the chocolate stain on your cheek is oh. Why'd you have to? Why'd you have to remind me of that? Thank you for your five months. Um, <laughs> Unique Mojo, thank you so much for the two months of Prime. <laughs> Lily Otter, thank you so much for two months, T1 sub. Really appreciate it. Galaxy Maple, thank you so much for two months of Prime subs. Uh, Kitbiz, thank you so much for three months. The Morgan Leanne, thank you so much for two months of Prime. Slay, thank you. Beanie's Crocs, thank you so much for T1, uh, two months. Sup, gang gang, how y'all been? I know I'm never here, but happy to be on a two month streak. Haha, <laughs> hope y'all all doing well. Really appreciate you coming by. Uh, come to Scotland? I'd love to. Tentil, thank you so much for your Prime sub. Chupin, thank you so much for two months. Uh, WiseWizard41, thank you for the one biddy. And for the two biddies, and the four biddies, and the two biddies. Um, Angel Midnight, thank you so much for gifting five subs to the gamers out here. Really, really appreciate it. Um, and of course, Nyadeko, thank you so much for stopping by. Your, your presence is always appreciated. Uh, and thank you so much for the five subs, gifted subs to the to the folks out here. Uh, Louis Frost, thank you so much for your brand new T1 sub. Uh, Botanical Books, thank you so much for the Prime sub. VV Star PL, thank you so much for the T1 sub. And Ala Rashinu, thank you so much for the T1 sub. Woo! Um, let me just let me just do something real quick. And I will hydrate. Just give me a second. It is soup time. Yes, I do voice Hitman 2 from Project Wingman. Uh, I did stream Project Wingman at some point, but that was before, um... 
Kave. That was B BK before Kave. Uh, so I think like, you know, like 50 people tuned in or something. <laughs> um, Emily Ann, thank you so much for your uh, two months. Or is it Ann? Guys, if you need to go to bed or something, uh, please do not stay up to what I, I'm saving all my VODs. So if you can't catch the stream, you're tired, you're being a sleepy little, little baby, please just go to bed. <laughs> Have I just to Pacific time? I mean, it's just like two hours. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm like already more or less on Pacific time. I've been going to bed at a reasonable hour because I've always had to do stuff in the morning. Um, yeah, Burger King. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, what else do I need to talk about? The song. The Kaveh song. Yes. I've heard the Kaveh song. Um, for those of you that don't know, let me post it in chat because it's really good. Uh, this stuff right here from, uh, Will Stetson. Uh... He, I don't want to get his pronouns right. Um, he made a he made a song about Kaveh, and I really really like it. I th it's really good. It's superb. Um, really really enjoyed it. So any Will Stetson, I don't I don't really follow Will's music. Um, I've this is the first time I've uh, been exposed to his work, uh, but it was great. It was fantastic. Uh, so definitely check it out. Give Will your love. It gets the Ben Balmaceda seal of approval. I give it uh, three three big big old kisses out of three. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Top, top rating in the, the Ben rating scale. And yeah, Deco, I gave you a, a VIP. Because you're a friend of the stream. So you, you, get, a, you get a cool thing. Because you, you, you gave... You, the Kermit, the, the, the Muppets thing deserved a reward. <laughs> um, I didn't cry. I don't, I don't cry often. The most you'll get out of me is a single tear. Unless I play MGS3, then I will cry like a little baby man at the ending of that. Or Final Fantasy IX. That one also makes me cry. Um, male pubes, thank you so much for your brand new T1 sub. Welcome. Chiala, thank you so much for three prime sub months. Really, really appreciate it. Fire Charcoal Arts, thank you so much for your brand new T1 sub. Yeah, good good username. What did I think about the diagnosis? I've already talked about it. I also love it. Every all of the songs, man, man, hey, the Genshin up? community is so good with arts. Like y'all make such good music, such good art. It's all great. It's all super good. Would it, would I consider it concerning that you can writing on the wall? I uh, you can do whatever you want, man. You can do whatever you want. Thank you so much, uh, GGB. Really, really appreciate that. If I if I make it to that place, I will say that you were the reason. Um. So yeah, what else do I need to talk about? I'm not going to be pulling for Nouvellet, um, or Nouvier, excuse me, or, um, I might pull for Ryoth, Ryotha Sully, um, because he punches shit, and I want to go, ah, da, 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 da. so, you know, I might do it for that. Uh, but I do kind of want to get Farina, because, um, she seems cool. But, yeah, um, well, I also, I'm, you know, kind of saving, I'm not going to, like, go super hard on Farina, because I do want to save for the eventual Kave C5. So, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I, um, I know Joe's, I know who voices these, guys, I know. I know who voices these characters. Joe's cool. I, um, I was on a stream exactly once. Like, years ago. <laughs> C6, excuse me. You're right. I'm dumb. Can you tell that I've been busy with moving all day? Or all week? 
Uh, yeah, I was on Joe Siege's stream. Uh, I played him in Shadowverse exactly one time, and he he kicked my ass. So cool cameo appearance in the voice actor streamer, um, you know, expanded universe. Lone Script One, thank you so much for two months of Prime, and yeah, I hope LA treats me nice too. <laughs> um, what else do I need to talk about? Oh. So, there's, um, there's a strike possibly happening, guys. A strike got authorized for interactive. Um, and that might have some ramifications on future streams. Because if the strike does happen, your boy won't be able to stream Genshin anymore. Or rather, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to, uh, to promote Genshin in any way. Because, unfortunately, Formosa is one of the studios that is uh, being struck. And that is where Genshin is recorded. So, uh, this could potentially be the last Genshin stream for a while. It's not going to be for a long time. I don't expect it to go on for a while if if the strike does go. Um, it, you know, that's still up in the air. But if it does go through, yeah, this might be the last Genshin stream for a bit. Just for a bit. I'm gonna die? No. I mean, yes, but not right now. Um, I will keep streaming. Let's let's not get it twisted here. I'm I am gonna keep streaming. We're gonna find some other way of doing stuff. What am I gonna play then? That's the important thing. Um, luckily, this is gonna happen right on October, so I can start maybe streaming some spooky games. I do really, really want to stream. Um, Little Nightmares. A lot of people have told me that they want to stream... They want me to stream that. Um, so, I am super down for that. Um, yeah, I might actually open up, like, a forum or something to allow people to suggest spooky games. Um, but a lot of people have mentioned Little Nightmares, and I, I would be down for that. Yeah, and, like, there's a ton of indie games that I want to play. Like, um, I've heard of a game called uh, Void Stranger, and I really, really want to play that on stream. I heard it's fantastic. So, uh, we'll do that. My Friendly Neighborhood would be fun, actually. That would be pretty fun. Have I streamed Persona 5? Homie, I'm going to be real with you. Fuck huge RPGs might not be the way. But uh, maybe there are some exceptions coming up that I'm willing to, to do. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Maybe maybe I'll stream bit, bit, bits and pisses. Um, Mortuary Assistant? I did see that game. LB? Or IB? Oh, that's the one with the... Yeah, I know what that, what that game is. I played that one. Stream Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> uh, yes, the spooky, spookiest game. Kingdom Hearts. I don't know if Squeenix is off the table, is the thing. They're not being struck. I think Square, en Square Enix might be okay. Um, Omori, I haven't actually played. I played the first 30 minutes... And then I got distracted by something and I never went back to it. I would be down to play Omori. Signalis. Yeah, that's that's on the list. Capcom might be okay. It might be. I think Nintendo as a whole, depending on where they're recorded, might be good. Um, I am pl I'm currently playing Lies of P. Um, I'm playing it offline. Goat Simulator. <laughs> Phasma with the Sumeru cast. That would be a fun game to play with the Krumeru. Um, World of Warcraft. <laughs> you, you, you guys really want to watch me go around talking to John Orkman, who's like, I need you to kill 50 baboons. And then you watch me kill 50 baboons. And then, um, as I try to make small talk. 
League of Legends. <laughs> Am I prepared to be uh, a lol streamer? Sheesh. I honestly, I, I mean, Al Al Rashinu, I'm a Destiny 2 player, so I get you. I understand. Lol streamer Ben. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, I would have to I would have to pull out the pro gamer. I'd have to invite that random dude that crashed my uh my streamly stra Who the fuck was that guy, honestly? Who is that man? I have played until dawn. Uh bless your wishes. You are blessed. May you be um uh, whoever you want, have her. Draw Kave on PC? N no thanks. I, I don't think I'm good enough at the art for that. <laughs> Just dance streamer. <laughs> Sheesh. I mean, I wouldn't mind the quarry. Um, but I do like games with a bit more game to them. I feel like, you know, uh, Until Dawn was fun. But it I felt like I was just watching a movie half the time. Twelly would be fun to stream. Hmm. But, like, I don't like any version of the game that isn't the DS version. I feel like the DS version is the best way to play Twelly. Detroit Become Human. I feel like I would spend most of my time laughing at that game. Because David, Ca David Cage games are memes. Like, I want to play through Heavy Rain and just fail every single um, non-lethal QTE. And just have it be the adventures of, you know, four really clumsy people. Jason! Sean! Um, Rain Code. Oh, I do really want to play Rain Code. I do really want to play that. A lot of my friends are in that game. <laughs> Untitled Goose Game Simulator. Uh, Rain World. I've had, I, that's on my, it's in my library. I could do that. I don't know. There's tons of options. There's ton, there's, we have options, gamers. Go old school and play Slenderman. I did, like, I... I, um, here's the thing. Here's the thing, chat. Um, I don't like games that are just doing a menial task. And if you fail the menial task, uh, a man pops up and goes, Ooga, booga, 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 booga. Like, it's, yeah, the Discord is still, uh, I mean, it's like, I have channels and stuff and it's ready to go, I guess. I just need to, like, bring in a group of people to, like, help make sure that it's working as intended. Um, yeah, games where you just do the thing, and if you fuck it up, a man yells in your face. I don't like those. I think they're, I, they, they, I don't like to be startled. And I, f I want games that are genuinely creepy. Like, FNAF, yeah, it pretty much is that. You're doing a menial task, and if you fuck up, you get you, you man comes and yells in your face. Like I, I, nah. I will need Discord mods, but that's um, I'll I'll probably tweet out like a form or something, or maybe I'll I'll have like applications or something. I don't know. Have I finished FF16 yet? Nope. I packed up my PS5 pretty early in the move, so yeah. Yeah, Signalis and Little Nightmares are... That's why I'm interested in those, because they're not just about a man screaming in my face every time I mess up. Um, and Outlast is an option, too. Yeah. Dead by Daylight? It's... I feel like that game has been... Like, optimized... They optimized the fun out of it, you know? I, it feels like if I'm not playing with the optimal survivor and I'm not doing the strats, then I, I feel like I'm just fucking around. Night in the Woods is good. 
Maybe I'll play D2, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll have like a community night for D2 if enough people play it. Um, but the same, I've got such a love-hate relationship with Destiny 2. I love the game, but I also hate the game. And I'm sure anybody that plays Destiny 2 is aware of that. Um, end up streaming Valorant? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Prey might also be good. Like the new, the, the Bethesda Prey. Uh, that game needs more love. Oh yeah, they did announce a new game, yeah. Oh, Box Cutter, thank you so much for the message. Your sh your sketch wasn't sh Listen, I cherish all the art that people gave me. I it was, I loved meeting everybody at Windbloom and, and Anime Impulse. It was so much fun. Luigi's Mansion, ooh, that might be an idea. I should take a trip to Poland? Yeah, I probably should. Um, yeah, but we'll figure it out, guys. Um, October's right around the corner. Demon Slayer board game that Sai you tweeted out. I might, honestly, I might play it. It looks dumb. I don't know if I'll play it on stream. Unless, like, people want to do, like, an event for it. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'll, I don't know. Maybe after the stream, I'll tweet out, a like, a... Like a form, like a suggestion, like a vote thing for people to suggest uh, spooky games. Psychonauts, I already played it, and uh, I finished one and two. Those are great games. Love them. Subnautica, scary? I mean, like, if you have um that fear of oceans. What's my Twitter? It's the same name as my stream. Van B. Voicen. Among Us. Among Us. Witch's House is really good. Anyway, um, that's all the stuff that I need to talk about. So I think we can just jump into, um... Can you respond to me so I can get my friend to play lacrosse with me? Hey, the, the best way to get me to respond to you is, like... Just, just be chill. Just relax, okay? What's my YouTube channel's name? I don't have a YouTube channel. Say dumb shit, he loves that stuff. <laughs> Damn, chat member cracked the code there. <laughs> They're on to me. They figured out the secret. Um, can I ask, is it like Ben B voicing or is it B E as in initials? Congratulations, Star Spelled. You've figured out the secret to my handle. It's both. I have two last names, and um, the initials for my last names are B-E. It's a pun. What's it like being a voice actor? It fucking sucks. It's fucking shit. Oh, I don't get to play games. Uh, it's stupid. No, dude. I love voice acting so much. I want to do it forever. Like, not even until I die. I'm going to keep voicing until after I die. Death won't stop me. Is it true that my brother lives in Poland? No, he lives in Germany. I want to be a VA later on in life. How do I get there? Um, If you scroll down to my FAQ... I have a little FAQ section right under my stream. One of the questions is, how do I become a voice actor? And I have a handy dandy little link there for you. Who is sillier, streamer or chat? Oh. If um, if chat is sillier than me, do I voice all hate them? Yes. Um, do I have an IG? A yes, but I don't really use it. A lot of people, like, send me message requests and, like, tag me and stuff on, uh, on Insta. But, like, I don't use it at all. 
Like, I'll, I'll like some stuff that people tag me in, but, like, I, I never use it. So, yeah. I'm sorry if people message me on there. Like, I just don't use Insta at all. Uh, Julie Bees and Confetti Prince, thank you so much for your subs. Really, really appreciate it. You can become a voice actor from freaking anywhere, dude. You can be a voice actor. I started voice acting in Australia, and I kept going in Chile. So, like, no matter where you are, you can make it work. I know there's a lot of European voice actors out there. I'm good friends with, um, um, Vincent Fallow, who's, um, the German voice actor for Clive Rosefield in Final Fantasy 16. He's a wonderful guy. So, wherever you are, there's probably a voice acting scene for you. Super Dummy Guru, thank you so much for your T1 sub. We really appreciate it. Opinion on Spaniard Spanish? Pues joder. Rayos y centellas. Que todos, que todos hablan hablando así. <laughs> Corcholis. <laughs> Hostia, tío. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Si ven en España, si son de, si son de España, lo siento. <laughs> Sorry. Les pido perdón. <laughs> Ahora en chileno... ¡Concha de madre, weón! ¡Qué weá! <laughs> ¡Puta madre, weón! ¡Ay! ¡Mierda! Okay, let's boot up Genshin before I get too carried away. <laughs> Do I have any tattoos? Nope. My body is a temple, and it's a pretty boring one. Biblio Curiosa. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Iruzmon. No mame. No mame's way. Okay, están... Están... Te... No puedo... Hablar sin acento chileno es tan difícil para mí. Porque necesito decir... Uh... Tengo, tengo que pronunciar todo lo, todas las, las letras que, que faltan. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Ugh. Wait, do do British accent. Welcome. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Today we're going to be playing some Genshin. You can hear the music of the game right there. But soon I'm going to tab over to it, and we'll have a jolly good time. It's not actually Tuesday, it's Wednesday. And yes, I'm keeping hydrated. That password is long. Do you... <laughs> Chat member, what a, what a thing to say. Talk like that more, please. It's so calm. Would I consider myself a goober? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a goober. Why did that sound almost like text to speech? The only, the only text-to-speech that I want to sound like is the Yoda text-to-speech. The, the gamer Yoda one. Playing Genshin, I will. I'll hate them, I must punch. Would I rather be a slime or a hilly churl? I think both of those are really, really bad. Uh, Hilly Troll, I guess, so I can at least have hands. Uh, four months of Prime from that one girl named Jazz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Everything's going well. Puedo hablar guaso? 
Tengo, tengo... No 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 conozco mucho guaso, entonces <risa> Tengo, tengo tíos que, que hacen rodeo Pero el acento guaso, no Uy, 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 uy Comida chilena favorita Un churrasco Con pan blanco tostado Y un poquito de palta O alfajores de queso con uh, Con azúcar O un de tipi tap, exactamente Palta es, um, es, uh, fucking avocado. Alfajor de queso, sí. No, no alfajor, empanada. Fuck, sorry. Bueno, también me encantan los alfajores. <laughs> How do I keep my composure while voice acting? <laughs> Funny question. Um, no, like when I'm when I'm acting, I basically enter a flow state where I'm just in the zone. It's verifying file in integrity, by the way. What a good timing on that! Hey, what's up? Right when the when the raid comes, welcome. Mizu no Ryu Vap. Thank you so much for the raid. Really, really appreciate it. ¿Te gustan los terremotos? Sí. They're alright. Ben, do I go to homecoming? Yes or no? It's up to you. Follow your heart. Uh, in the States, has anyone ever clocked an accent when you're speaking English? Uh, nobody knows that I'm Chilean. Ever. Until I, I bring them up. Choripan, oh. Mira, es, yo... Hay un, hay un restaurante chileno en, aquí como a 20 minutos de mi casa. Y venden marraqueta. Y necesito comprar marraqueta y un poco de chorizo porque estoy con tantas ganas de comer choripan. Ugh. Me encanta el choripan. Kermit voice. <laughs> Oh, what's my nationality? I'm Chilean. Vos dale nomás. Dale nomás. Um, Californians have an accent. I say, I do say hella. I do say tubular. I say rockin' sometimes. Marraqueta o pan francés? Marraqueta. Uh, thank you so much for Itzko Maisa for the five months, T1. Kermit voice. I'll do the Kermit voice when I'm in game. How about that? It's a uh, verify. Oh, the door. The door was built. So we'll just do this now. Um, there we go. Uh, let me know if the game audio is uh, is at a good volume, guys. By the way. Oh, what's my favorite type of dog? Dachshund. Or a wiener dog. I also like beagles. Uh, pinchers are also good. Uh, I like Pomeranians. I like Chihuahuas. I like Basenjis. Um, I like Labradors. Um, I like Golden Retrievers. Um, I like Pugs. I like French Bulldogs. I like Boston Terriers. I like Parson Jack Russells. Um... I'm all right with, um, actually, no. Pitbulls are fine. It depends on their upbringing. Um, I like Staffies. I like Yorkies. Um, if it, if you didn't clue in, guys, I, I love dogs. I love all dogs. I am a... Drinks that everyone can enjoy! Um... Yeah, so, a lot. But, you know, I've owned 
I've owned dachshunds. Like I had a, a, a wiener dog years ago called Sophia, and she was she was my pride and joy. Um, but yeah, uh, cats. I'm quasi allergic to cats. Like I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I was getting um, like fucking immunotherapy done, so I think I'm not as allergic to cats. But I think I'm, 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 I haven't enjoyed cats as much as dogs because you know, I growing up allergic kind of limits your. Once, there was a glorious Shut up! I don't want to hear about it. Can you tell this is the first time I booted up the game in a while? I don't want to hear it, Venti. Yeah, you see? It's been a while. <laughs> because of the move and stuff. Freemo gems, though. Let's go. This was all part of the plan, guys. Look at this dude. Look at this nerd. Look at him staring. I'm just gonna get rid of this exclamation mark before I lose my mind. <laughs> Welcome home, cheater. <laughs> That's the look he's got. Uh, I've heard that he's really fun, though. Um, if the... Actually, I could use, um... I could use more constellations for Xingqiu and, uh... Diona. But I also do want Hu Tao. I could trial him. That's a good idea. Good idea, chat. You know what? Let's do it. I'm not going to pull for him. What got me interested in Project Wingman? I'm a huge Ace Combat fan. I love Ace Combat. Character description. Nuvalet's charged attack releases a surging torrent after fully storing energy, dealing continuous AoE hydro damage to all opponents in a direct line in front of him. He can move freely and adjust the direction he is targeting during this time. His elemental skill and elemental burst create source water droplets. When storing energy for his charged attack, he can absorb source water droplets within a certain distance, restoring his own HP while reducing the time required to fully charge his torrent. In addition, his elemental skill deals Numa aligned hydro damage. Additional elemental orbs will be will drop during the trial event challenge to facilitate the testing of the trial character's elemental burst. Ugh. That takes effort. In my own work, but I also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of Fontaine. I oh. believe I will continue to take pride in fulfilling my duties. I'm Ray Chase. I'm super cool. Look at this charge attack! Hmm. Hmm. Ha! Thank you so much for the five gifted subs, Deco. <laughs> okay. So I guess it's just gather up orbs and then um, fire his uh, his his big beam. Settle down! Oh my god, he just fires the beam! Fire the beam! He, oh my god, he does do a fuck ton of damage. Yeah, bitrate's probably get, taking and getting uh, its ass beat. Biden blast! <laughs> now you prepare... You've, you've, uh, swindled me for the last time, Biden! Blast! <laughs> he's great. That's really cool. That, he's actually really cool. I, I didn't expect him to be that cool.
One-handed Kamehameha, yeah. It was a Shinku Hadoken. Wait. What? We're but still in the same day. But uh, 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 huh? Guys, you 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 all saw that happen, right? I wasn't anywhere near uh the next story <laughs> and it just it teleported me across the map. <laughs> well, I guess I mean I was going to do this anyway, so Spent the night with new worries. With tomorrow's oh, yeah, I'm technically in a domain. Okay, that makes sense. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. Hyman thought that Doop Doop did that! Wait, we've already seen this cutscene. Uh, whatever. Get yeah, I, 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 this is where I said the poop loop. Okay, I've already seen all this. In the time we've been together. I'm gonna skip through it. <laughs> In other words, Nahida's talking about confusing. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. So, traveler, did the new clues yesterday? Huh? Why are you scrapping your previous theory? Oh yeah, you're right. So. Ah, uh, God. What was it again? Yeah, I remember. I remember all this. Why don't you? Right. She did it. Okay. Yeah, I think this is where we left it off. Did you know Genshin has around 10 million words written? How many words do you think Genshin has? Would you say 10 million? 50 points if you know where that's from. There you are. It really took me a while to find you. As expected, Dia also didn't get hurt today. Get hurt? Why would I? Don't underestimate me. Well, you're still getting used to your new great sword. I heard that Genshin gets very pricey, is that true? It's all up to you, chat uh, chat member, and your and your sense of control. If you have the the power of control in your hands, and to not purchase any Prima gems, then this game is a lot of content for free. Huh. Truth be told, I also think it's pretty strange. It just suddenly felt so familiar in my hands. No, I didn't I Wait didn't get second. the gay working. How did you know I got a new great sword to begin with? I didn't tell anyone Not yet. about it. I didn't have time for it. Can you explain the situation to her today? Paimon's gotten a little sick of doing it. Let's just get straight to the point, Paimon. Oh, that works. What happened to you guys while I was gone? Did you get brainwashed by some cult? Think too hard about it. Just take what we're saying at face value. All right then. <laughs> I didn't Let get the get gay straight. working. <laughs> You're telling me that my body's already gotten used to this great sword, but my brain just doesn't remember it. Yes, your memory's being erased every day. Then I'd have to disagree. That's impossible. Oh? Why do you think that? If we've actually been reliving the Subzerus festival day after day, then what happened to the things we used? The money we spent? The this. Food we ate? This is the exact thing that I mentioned last stream, where I was like, wait, if we're not looping... Also, Yomi, thank you so much for the Prime sub, really appreciate it. Uh, and Adele, Ad Adele Ayo, thank you so much for two months of T1. Favorite stream so far? Oh, shucks. <laughs> Stop it, you. <laughs> yeah, this is, um, this is what I asked last time. So, how do, how do you, how do you explain that, Mr. Mr. Science Man? Common sense says my wallet should have emptied itself a long time ago. 
There's no way I wouldn't have noticed. Yeah, I thought about that too. But if the sages were behind this, if they're utilizing the entire city's resources as well as information supply. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, I'm. Their own known. Thank you so much for your prime sub. Really appreciate it. Right. They could use the Akasha to record what everyone did that day and then use the city's resources to replenish everything. Hmm. <laughs> I see. I see how it is. So... So everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's reliving the, uh, the day. Getting their minds wiped at the end. And government ninjas are like, okay, this guy took a shit in this, this room and didn't flush. And then somebody else flushed, so we need to- we need to put that shit back in there. Like, I don't- I don't understand. Uh, it just seems silly. This seems really silly. Having- having government ninjas replenish everything. Like, what if you're sick? Do the government ninjas inject you with, like, sickness juice? And keep you sick? Is that what is is that how that works? Would you just I don't understand. Whatever, let's just keep going. It's not very likely, but it's also not impossible. I don't know, Paimon! I don't know. It seems a little far fetched to me. No, it is impossible. I've got proof. Okay, please tell me. You have proof? You two are surprisingly serious about this nonsensical discussion. Fine, I'll play along for a little longer. Dia, please release me. Come with me, Miss Dunyarzad. Please come along as well. I still can't guarantee that this area is safe. Please enlighten me. Please. I need I to know. I believe it's Dia who wants to show us something this time. Two days ago, we were the ones taking her to see Dunyarzad. Who's my favorite character in Genshin? Uh, I'll hate them. Unironic. Unironic answer. He's so cool. This is it. Okay. Huh? This is a wooden training dummy. What if- See those marks on the Shit, dummy? sorry. Didn't mean those to skip that are the result of several days worth of practice. Let's say the sages didn't replace it every day. Shouldn't it be hacked to pieces by now? <laughs> exactly. That's true, but what if they did? You like I'll hate them more than Kave? Where did I say that? It, that that question reminded me of um that tweet that's just like saying pa like I like pancakes on Twitter makes it so yeah so you hate waffles. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. <laughs> People said my favorite other than Kaveh. Don't get it twisted, chat. Don't get it twisted. Then the sages would have had to reproduce every mark I left during previous So you hate session. Traveler? <laughs> if I'll hate them lost all his limbs and abs, would you still like him? So if he was just like a, like a torso, like an abless torso, and a head. What a question to ask, chat. Um, Adele, Ayo, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Anthex. He would actually be a, would I still like Althatham if he was a worm? <laughs> huh. I'm a worm. I'm going to eat some dirt. And then I'm going to hide in this book. Making me a bookworm. <laughs> yeah, I let, the, I let the whole thing play that time.
<laughs> Unfollows? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> this is how I- this is how I lose everything. <laughs> First Seinfeld of the day. <laughs> Nani Bean, thank you so much for two months. Celestial Shibe, thank you so much for the Prime sub. <laughs> What's my favorite scene with Kabe? Uh, all of his uh, teapot lines are my favorites. I'm a professional fighter. My martial school has always emphasized the importance of refined control. The force, angle, and entry point of each strike is calculated and deliberate. That's why I remember every mark on the dummy. As well as my state of mind as I made each strike. I can't. I'm. I'm impressed at uh, Alejandro. Excuse me. Sayu's um, ability to monopolize the concept of puns. Like I, I. Nobody's allowed to make puns anymore without uh, people saying, "Oh, Sino Sayu reference." Oh, Finn, you're here. Everybody, Finfrog, uh, person that uh, makes the uh, YouTube compilations that everybody loves, is in chat. Let me do something real quick. Hang on. Just let me, uh, let me do something real quick. Enjoy your cool VIP thing. Um... It's just as they say. For helping helping with stuff in, in, in chat. And even the same swordsman can't make the same cut twice. I mean, for your, your service making the videos. And thank you for to Unspecified Rat. Thanks, Rat, for gifting a sub. It was nice to see you at the con, by the way. It was so cool to, to meet you. Um, anyway, where was I? Okay, uh, let's keep going. What if they use some fancy machine to carve every single mark? Paimon, shut the fuck up. You're you're talking nonsense right now. You're s doing silly shit. You're saying silly shit. This is silly shit right now. People often say that a camera's photo can never replace an artist's painting because the former has no spirit to it. Okay. The same thing applies here. At a mere glance, I can differentiate carved marks from the results of combat training. Um, yeah. Whew. I hope that cleared things up for you. Hey, is this that new brain size game that's been super popular with the scholars lately? brain size? <laughs> you mean... Basic logic? This is like in Ace Attorney Investigations where Miles Edgeworth's, uh, super incredible attorney superpower is just logic. Where he's like, a bullet was fired, and there was a revolver found at the crime scene. Ergo, the bullet must have been fired from the gun found at the crime scene. And then Gumshoe's like, oh my god, Mr. Mr. Edgeworth, you're, you're so smart, pal! Anyway, it's getting late. I should escort Miss Dunyarzad to Nilu's stage. See you later. Oh yeah, I guess they did. They re is that in the second game in Investigations Two, where they turned it into chess? Because in in Investigations One, it was just it was just logic, like it was just called logic. And Edgeworth was like, "I'll use my power of logic to solve this mystery." And like, meanwhile, the fucking. Wright has lie detection superpowers, spooky chains, and uh, Apollo can, you know, can has like fucking spider senses. Well, back to square one. Is our memory deletion theory also wrong? And Athena's got fucking. Emotional. She's an empath. She's got empathy powers. Wait, hang on. I'm gonna grab something real quick. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you mean, nah. -uh. A 
Apollo just bugs out mid-trial. Yeah, pretty much. He gets super like, laser eyes. I can see your, 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 the left vein right next to your, your, uh, right on your neck pulses slightly when you lie. At least we've reached some other conclusions in the meantime. What are the requirements for you to pull for a character if one of my close friends voices them? Um, we're not in a time loop. Yep, that's true. So, can we think of any new ideas right now? Sorry for loudly munching in the mic. Strange? Paimon feels like everything's been strange lately. Oh, let's just leave the city. Let's just go. Leaving the city? You're right! It's really strange how we never thought of such a simple solution! Many things should become clear if we can confirm the flow of time outside of the city. Paimon can't believe it! Did we miss this because we're tunnel visioning too hard on our other theories? Or because we're just too tired? Paimon, I don't think it's either of those. I think we're just really stupid. How about we go back and ask Nahida? Maybe we've forgotten something about leaving the city. Paimon, we, may, we m might be stupid. Telegraph, thank you so much for four months, Team One Sub. Working while watching Ben. Help! Help! This employee's not not working! Help! B office person! Employee not working here! <laughs> Manager, help! <laughs> You do data analysis? Oh, okay, then you're fine. I'm not a snitch, chat. I, I knew, I knew that they weren't watching with Who the fuck would watch a me stream with speakers on? Like, come on. Let's not get it twisted here. You, Mewy Tham. Meowy Tham. Is that like a cat? I'll hate them. Thank you so much for your brand new T1 sub. AirPods, bro, exactly. You're back early today. Did you find something new? We didn't find that, shit. We're mostly sure now that we're not in a time loop. And we also aren't in the real world. But at the same time, we have a new question. You you have me on speaker? Help! Help! I'm There's a murder! Call the police! Oh. Wait, how about this? Xbox, turn off. Alexa, turn lights off. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. Okay, Google, tell me a joke. <laughs> <laughs> hey Siri, nuke this guy. <laughs> Siri, send this man to Tampa, Florida. What will happen if we try to leave the city? Hmm, leaving the city. As far as I remember, you've mentioned your plans to do that twice before. Oh, we've only had this idea twice? Mr. Electric, obliterate him! We did? We don't remember anything. What happened after we talked about those plans? What did we say when we got back? <sighs> Let me think. I don't think you ever actually told me what the outcome was. Oh, it's probably more accurate to say that both times, you never came back the whole night. Gaperitis. That's a name. Thank you so much for gifting us up to Jajaline. Okay, so 
But you two sometimes stay out the entire night anyway, so at the time, I didn't think too much about it. We've only tried to leave the city twice. There were two moments, two timelines, two resets, where we just were not dumb. It is true that sometimes we lose track of time during our investigations. Before we know it, it'll already be the next day. But still, neither of us remember anything about leaving town. Really? That's kind of strange. In theory, I should have already awakened all your memories. Maybe this is the key. Yep. Something here is definitely fishy. Let's get to the bottom of this tomorrow. Beep. Our memories are back! Uh, all of them? Begin. I'm Gracio3. Thank you so much for two months. Traveler, aside from your memories that were just restored, I have another message for you. I like how Junior Zod is still just chilling there. Uh, uh, it looks like the smoke is coming out of her neck. Listen to it and you'll understand. What? Why'd everything. What? Filter? Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus Festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Oh my god. Is that Zach Aguilar right behind me? <laughs> He's right behind me, isn't he? Traveler, you should be missing two days worth of memories. I'm gonna fill you in. Two days ago. It's time to carry out our plan from yesterday. Wait. Wait, hold up. We did... Uh... Cool filter effect. Kriska? Why can't we leave the city? What is the academia... <laughs> Mexico <now>? filter! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't ask me. It's not like We're in Juarez me. now, gamers. This is a direct order from the Grand Sage. Just I really do want to go to Mexico. Tomorrow. I want to go to Tulum. I have a real emergency. My goods have already arrived at Port Ormos. If I don't hurry, they'll be stolen. That's Jun Yoon. I'm pretty sure that's Jun. That's your problem. Make sure you make a request in advance Ooh. next time. But, but it's not like you can just predict business matters in advance. <laughs> oh, that that is June. Ah, oh. man! Every time I hear his voice in this game, I'm just like, "Fuck yeah, June!" <laughs> yeah, for those of you that don't know, June Yoon is um is a voice actor. Uh, he's he's really cool. Yeah, he, uh, he he is like the the Genshin guy to follow. As far as, uh, yeah, his streams are so comfy. June's super cool. It looks like the Academia already announced a lockdown for Sumeru City today. How completely unsurprising. Let's go and question them. Hello, sir. Why can't we leave the city today? Here we go again. Don't ask me. I don't know either. We just received an order that no one is allowed to enter or exit Sumeru today. They didn't tell us anything else. Angering me won't get you anywhere. If I had that kind of insider info, I would have left this stupid post long ago. A stupid post. I feel like I recognize who that, that guard was. It looks like he really doesn't know. If we can't get anything out Maybe of him, that was Luis? let's take matters into our own hands. Why don't we climb over the walls? Those guards can't be everywhere at once. This is a good spot, and the guard hasn't noticed us at all. Let's hurry! Huh? Why? Are you going to leave Paimon behind? We need someone to stay and witness events from this time. What? From this side, what excuse me. things get really weird out there and you get into some trouble, then Paimon won't be able to help you. What? Paimon, what do you, what do you do? What do you do in combat? What do you do in combat, Paimon? What do you do? How do you, how do you assist? can't do much, but we 
we've always been together, haven't we? Don't worry, Paimon. The Triforce of Wisdom promises the Traveler will safely return. Oh. Okay. Paimon will wait for you. If you don't hear from me in a month, send Link. Promise Paimon that you'll come back as soon as possible. Just a quick look. Okay. Memories? Traveler! <laughs> oh, so... Paimon, that Paimon would never see you again! You just disappeared! So, like, did, did, I, did the Traveler hit, like, an invisible wall and just... what you were saying traveler fell through the floor like uh like one of those gta glitches where you fall under the city <laughs> paimon doesn't care paimon wanted to go look for you but you also said that paimon should stay paimon was so worried and so scared the entire day sorry paimon i won't leave you behind <gasps> Yeah, okay. Corinna did a great job. My mom will forgive you. The most important thing is that you didn't actually disappear. Oh, my mom was so scared that you had gone into another world. Okay, my mom, can you tell us? My <laughs> mom was so scared that I almost got isekai. <laughs> hmm, I see. Using two people's different perspectives. After that. You left the city. Kave removed the traveler. Then you disappeared in an instant. I, Paimon, I hit the instance trigger. I moved to another instance. It was a loading screen, Paimon. No way! Paimon was watching you with the fullest attention. What's your perspective, traveler? You sure you don't have any memory of this? I don't even know that yesterday existed. I <laughs> guess that explains everything. You also lost your memories the last two times you tried to leave the city. Those days' memories can't be awoken. Kaifer, thank you so much for the 95 biddies. Thank you, thank you. So, if we leave the city, our memories will be completely erased? What's up? Eleven, thank you so much for three months. T1 what's up? Um... I don't know if you remember, but I met you at Windbloom and you signed my Kaveh sweatshirt. I do remember you. So nice to see you in the stream. I think I think you also mentioned the stream when we we talked at Windbloom. But yeah. Hope you're doing well. Hope that the sweatshirt is in like good condition. It's all it's all holding up okay. It really sounds like something big outside of the city is being hidden on purpose. But this way, we'll also never discover what's outside! Can we leave behind something other than memories? Something like... a message? But how can we send it back? D don't look at me like that! I'm... I'm not used to being stared at. Well... Okay, okay. You want something that can pass on messages, right? Give me some time and take care of Dunyar's out for me. Rat, thank you so much for three months. Really appreciate it. Why don't they uh, write a message uh, on the bottom of the traveler's shoe? Yep, now we're talking. They should write Andy. <laughs> And now we're in the pret no.
I'm done. Here you go. Yeah, the music for this whole place has been really nice. What? Isn't this just an Akasha terminal? <laughs> you need some little changes. Akasha terminals are already capable of sending messages. I just tweaked it so that it can connect to any node. Yeah, star spelled. I also remember that. Thank you so much for the letter, by the way. To make something like this? It's in one of my moving boxes. I need to fish really it out and put it like in the back my of your hand. brand new corner. Anyway, we can use this now to record a message, right? Seven, thank you so much for the two months of T1. Really appreciate it. Yes, I have seen the Will Stetson song. I've already sung my praises about it. It's good stuff. Yep. <laughs> I'll help you save the messages. It should be pretty easy to use. I just can't guarantee the user's status and signal coverage when they're outside the city. Show pictures of the corner when it is done? It's gonna take a while. We'll never know until we try. At least we're taking the initiative now. Let's go then. Let's expose those sages. I still think you should stay. Uh, all right. Paimon isn't as worried about being separated since it happened once yesterday. But... Paimon still isn't happy about it. No, I I have to rebuild my Jack Frost shrine. I'm, I'm really enjoying the Archon Quest. I... I still need to figure out, like, I'm still waiting for the the final reveal of how this time loop works. But, um... Well, we're, we're slowly inching closer towards it, gamers. Okay! See you tomorrow, Traveler! Bye! Have a great time! That covers everything that's happened so far! <sighs> yes. Although the signal was choppy and had some interference, we still managed to receive two messages from you when you were outside. Okay, now that you understand what's going on, let's hear the messages together. <laughs> what if... So, these are the messages that, that, the, that the Traveler left when they... When, when they left this city. What if they start playing one of them and it's just the most inhuman screaming... Like it's 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 the traveler being spaghettified or something. Like it's it's just unfathomable terror is outside of the uh, the bounds of the uh, the city. Oh, oh, unfathomable terror! Can't go back. There are countless spaces here. Our Subzerus Festival in Sumeru City is just one of them. Oh, it was just that. Okay, never mind. I've entered another space. Before me are flowing sandstone and howling fish. Impossible and surreal sights. I mean, I was half right. He is, he is seeing, um, you know, concepts and things from beyond the color beyond the colors of time, but. All these spaces are empty except for the occasional ones that contain mute puppets rather than people. I can't sense any human presence. So he's legit going into the de like the debug spaces. Oh, this ain't Zaza, man. This is fentanyl. completely normal when Paimon was looking out from the inside. That's unbelievable. And if we take your word for it, the other spaces all had very weird contents. Nahida, it's Sumeru. They put bugs in it. <laughs> I understood that reference, uh, Joshua. Good reference. Good reference. There's another part here. We only received it last night. These spaces have been disappearing one after the other, absorbed by something like a sun in the sky. Yo, is that is that a Digital Devil Saga 2 reference? Is that a Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga 2 reference? And now, even the final space has also disappeared. Behind me, a lot of spaces just appeared again from thin air. I get it now. Those spaces are actually... Uh, buzz. Uh, uh, <laughs> why did the message end right there? What did the traveler want to say? What are those spaces? Probably because.
because yesterday just happened to end at that moment. That's cringe. Oh, right. Paimon did hear a beep from the Akasha. Did it come from here or from the message? He was about to tell us what it was based on. The message. It should have come from the Traveler's Akasha Terminal. Chaotic Tart, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Wow! Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. After the beep, Traveler said even the final space has also disappeared. <sighs> Traveler, what do you think that final space could have been? Final space? Isn't that the, um, isn't that the name of a Sonic level? Like, or is it final, final, oh no, it's final rush, I think. From Sonic Adventure 2. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common. A lack of human presence. Was that space actually the real world? But wouldn't a real space just randomly disappearing like that be catastrophic? My impression is that each day in this samsara only ends at the sound of that beep from the Akasha. Oh, so that's what it is! After the sound of the beep, the final space, the Subzero's festival, also disappears, and we're taken to the next day. Later on, Traveler also mentioned a bunch of new spaces materializing behind them. Do lots of new spaces appear every day? Paimon's head is spinning. Just what are these spaces anyhow? Well, consider this. For all the horrors of the Archon War, at its heart, it was just a game where a bunch of gods fought over seven seats. It was just a game? It was a game to you? I think hundreds, millions died? And Nahida's like, yeah, it was a game. So no matter Lamau. how strange or spooky things may look on the surface, maybe all they point to in the end is a small and simple secret. Wow. The Archon War, huh? That's an analogy and a half. It's just a silly little war. It was a silly little, you know, murder. She wasn't around? Oh. Damn, I got exposed for my lack of Genshin knowledge. Now everybody knows I'm a fake fan. <laughs> ah. This dude looks so sad. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he was just asleep. <laughs> he was asleep standing up. Oh, thank you so much, Magenta Rosewing, for the uh for the nice words. Do you want some alone time to think? <sighs> Alright then, Pima won't disturb you. We th thinking time. That was a Danganronpa V3 reference for you gamers. We gotta use the, uh, the, the, the car thing, the minigame. The dance of Subzeros is about to begin. I'm going to go watch it. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead, Dunyarzad? We still have some other stuff to do first. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Have you figured it out yet, Traveler? Time is ticking away! I think I know the- So we literally just sat on this bench for like three hours and just like... Sherlock Holmes mind palaced it. It's like that video of Sherlock Holmes where he's doing- He's moving stuff around in his brain. And at one point he goes, You ain't nothing like it! Like, cause he's- He's talking about like the hound or whatever. And... It, it was really stupid. You 
can tell us both together. This time we're gonna get to the truth. Yeah, the BBC Sherlock series. I haven't watched it. I've only watched that clip. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so silly. Miles Edgeworth. Eureka! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole series is pretty silly. I make a lot of very specific references to a lot of things. That's the important part of the series, where he's doing his little thing? This is his mind palace thing? Oi. You're back! I've been waiting forever for you two! What's Just my current theory before pieces. you reveal the truth? Um... So... This isn't a time loop. Our memories are getting wiped every time. It's a simulation? Maybe it's a simulation? But I don't know how that would work. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what it could possibly be just yet. Uh, I'm just ruminating here. Don't tell me if I'm correct or not. Don't be like, actually, it's this. Um, Just, yeah, just, hmm. Just do all hate them noises. Are you ready to take your Subzerius exam and graduate from the festival? Why do you have to say it like that, Nahida? <laughs> okay. First off, have you discovered the hidden truth? Okay. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. We've already experienced the Subzerus Festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. All the bizarre spaces I saw outside the city had one thing in common, a lack of human presence. The moon, illusions, and lies. What do they all mean? People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Oh, okay. We are all in a dream. It isn't that the people of Sumeru don't dream. Rather, the Akasha is taking their dreams from them. Those spaces remind me of dreams, like the one I had in the Avidia Forest, except these have no sign of human presence. Wait, this, this, we need, like, next time one of these pops up, I need to play some Ace Attorney music. <laughs> People in Sumeru think they don't dream, but the truth is the Akasha steals their dreams without them knowing it. The Dream Stealer. And those spaces with no human presence? are stolen dreams without their host. That would explain why they sounded so weird when he was trying to describe them. Huh. So people in Sumeru do dream after all. In fact, so, we're all in one big dream together It right kind of is a simulation. It kind of is, but n not really. It's a dream. We are in Shark Boy and Paimon. We are Shark Boy and Paimon is Lava Girl. Okay, this is actually not a dream. It's a fucking nightmare. Correct answer. Now, how did you conclude that the Akasha is capable of this? I watched that movie, by the way, with some friends, and it's. <sighs> yeah. He ruined my dream journal. The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate. Oh yeah, it was really it was really good to laugh at. It was a it was a really fun movie to watch with friends because we were just laughing so hard at uh at so much of that. Um I don't know what the what's that 
uh, Linus, the chi- the the horrible little child that does say, "I did not." Mr. Electric, send him to the principal's office and have him expelled. Um, his, at, his the kid who was playing that character, he did, he did such a he was he was living his best life. He was he was he was giving it his whole his whole soul. And um I remember Shark Boy the the whole dream 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 song song in the large air quotes. And I think Shark Boy started breakdancing in the middle of that because no you know, no lullaby is complete without a without a breakdancing child. It is the manifestation of the god of wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. And it grants knowledge to the people. That doesn't sound right. Oh. That doesn't sound... Oh. Oh, okay. Those dream-controlling creatures in the forest also get their power from the Dendro Archon, right? That would explain why the Akasha has the ability to control people's dreams, too. <laughs> That movie raised me? I'm so sorry to hear that, chat member. But is stealing everyone's dreams really how the Akasha compiles their wisdom? Isn't there anything more to it than that? Ben, could you potentially call a calzone a pizzusi? Alright. Uh, good, good chat. Uh, good, good, uh, good stream, guys. Um... I'm gonna be uh no okay no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Dreams are fantastical, complex, and full of imagination. People's brains are the most active when they're dreaming. In other words, dreams are rich bundles of human wisdom. You can call it a Pazusi if you really want to. I can't I'm not your dad. I can't legally stop you from doing that. So, in other words, exactly. the complete opposite of how Hypatia understood it. Karma remembers her saying that the sages think dreams are foolish delusions. <laughs> and the fact that no one <laughs> dreams is a blessing from greater Lord Ruka Devada. Hmm. <laughs> so it was all a dirty trick? It was all a dirty trick. The real Jeez, story mercy. is that the sages from the academia are using the Akasha to steal people's <laughs> dreams for their own use, huh? This is some this is some Disney supervillain nonsense right here. Where this this group of scholars are like Ah yes, we're going to we are going to steal the dreams of all the people. Like this is this is a children's children's book. Supervillain. I'm going to steal the dreams of people. No. I I'm I will whoever decided to make this plan I will shoot out of a cannon into the sun. Oh? By the sounds of it, you understand the current situation pretty well. So then, what about the samsara? Well, the dream all I I'll say is that the dreams of pirates will never end. And the beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night. Even though we removed our Akasha terminals. They ruined all our dream journals. Those faces kept disappearing before my eyes. But as soon as that beep sounded, many more spaces materialized. The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the birth of that god to your heart's content. Did he mean something more? My mind feels exhausted. We've already experienced the sub -Zero. Those dreamscapes kept vanishing. But as soon as that beep sounded, more new spaces appeared. Hmm. <laughs> the appearance and disappearance. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Of course it's the last one. 
Correct. The Akasha is keeping each person's brain in a constant dream state, but also separating their consciousness from their own dream. Their disembodied consciousness is placed inside the collective dream of the Subzerus Festival along with everyone else's, while their now vacant dreams are harvested by the Akasha. Harvested for what? For knowledge? Is it knowledge that they want? No one is any the wiser as another day passes in the dream, and so begins another samsara cycle. People wake up to yet another dream about the Subzerus Festival. The dreams that belong to them are once again harvested by the Akasha. And so it continues. So, this is like a dream factory, and the Akasha is a dream harvesting machine. This is awesome kind of right? dream theater here. Very good, Paimon. Using analogies well is an excellent habit to get into. Okay. So that beep we keep hearing is actually from our real life Akasha terminals. Taking off our terminals in this dream doesn't do anything. I don't listen to dream theater. I mean, I I think some of the the songs are good, but All I don't right, like go out of my way. Question. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Two, four, six, so what? Nahida. They say that alchemical divination is the Dendro Archon's divine revelation. So then, if Nahida has referred to herself as the moon... Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions a hint that we're all dreaming? That's kind of a stretch. Now that I think about it, wasn't illusions hinting at the sage's deception of Sumeru's people? <laughs> so you noticed. You're the moon. Uh, I thought that one would be the hardest question. That's why I put it last. <laughs> that wasn't hard at all. Even Paimon guessed that. Everything about you is different. We just didn't want to expose you, is all. <laughs> now that you mention it, Nahida, you've been hinting to us since the very beginning. It's funny. Thinking back to when we were asking all over the place for info about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Paimon didn't expect to meet you like this. Yes, those can wait until we're back in real life. On the other hand, I'd be happy to answer any more questions you have about here and now. Oh my god. Why can't you just tell us the truth? You asked me this question before. My answer all right, is, yeah. it would literally blow your minds. Now that you know this is all a dream, this answer should hopefully make more sense. Why couldn't Nahida just play that video of that dude saying, Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Have you heard the saying, Don't wake a sleepwalker? Likewise, if someone suddenly had told you all this instead of you learning it on your own? Your notion of reality and dream would be thrown into irreversible confusion. I couldn't expose you to that kind of... That's why I could only give you very subtle hints and some suggestions. Long story short, I'm really sorry I had to keep you guessing. Subtle hints and suggestions. <sighs> Firstly, this dream we're in is completely based on reality. People have already experienced the Subzerus Festival, so, so it, it was a very okay. Bye, Cameron. Thank you for stopping by. Them as surreal. Secondly. You're probably wondering why people don't have any memories from earlier samsara, right? That's because people don't remember their dreams most of the time anyway. And in any case, their actual dreams are being taken away from them by the Akasha. Chat, do you remember a lot of your dreams? Because I do. I have really good memory for dreams. So whenever they wake up in this dream of the Subzerus Festival, they don't remember anything from their previous identical dream. Paimon, Traveler had a dream when we were in the Avidia Forest, but couldn't see what it was about after waking up. Is that an example of what you mean? Seeing a lot of people say that they only remember nightmares, I don't think I've ever had a nightmare in my life. As insane as that sounds. I've had, like, slightly uncomfortable dreams, but I wouldn't call them nightmares.
like, there are dreams where, like, I have a gigantic spider that's on my arm or something. But, like, I'm just slightly bothered. I wouldn't call it a nightmare. I have dreams about spiders so often, but, like, I just don't... I'm just unplussed by them. What about sleep paralysis? I have had that happen once. Um, and I have had moments where I've woken up and my body hasn't woken up. And I've hallucinated stuff. And I have hallucinated spiders all over the wall. But, like, I guess I just have really good, like, crisis control. Because I would just be like, okay, this is dead of night. I can't move. I'm. This is sleep paralysis. None of this is real. And then, like, if I stare at something that I'm hallucinating at for for enough time, it just kind of evaporates. So I I guess something something face your fear something something uh, evaporate. I have very mild arachnophobia. Just very mild. I'm I'm not jazzed about spiders. Um, uh, my, my, uh, basically, if there are spiders outside of the house, I'll be fine with them. Uh, but if they're inside my house, then they're trespassers, and I will, they will be destroyed. Um, do you want to know what, what the deepest, the, my deepest, darkest fear is, chat? Uh, I'm terrified of plugging things into outlets. I, I, I have a very difficult time plugging things into outlets because, um, if it sparks, I, I momentarily, I momentarily just for a few seconds, like shut down. And by shut down, I mean, just like freeze. <laughs> uh, because when I was a kid, I got zapped by, uh, like a big old cluster of, um, like extension cords and stuff. And ever since then, I just don't like the idea of getting shocked. So, any kind of spark uh, that happens when I plug shit in, I I hate it. I hate it so much. I have to close my eyes whenever I plug things in. And it sucks because like it's such a it's such a like a precise thing to plug things in and like I have to keep like jamming the plug around the socket until it goes in because I just don't want to look. And that's also why I'm not I don't do thunderstorms well. I think it's just electricity in general. Raw electricity just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, Mr. Ele I I am deeply terrified of Mr. Electric. I'm just kidding. It's it's just George Lopez. It's just George Lopez. <laughs> ben has a fear of George Lopez. <laughs> he's he's a funny guy. He's a funny man. Why would I be why would I be afraid of him? That's also like I don't understand why people are afraid of clowns. They're funny. Clowns are funny. It's a, literally a silly, silly person in funny little makeup with a funny wig. And people are like, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. It's like, no. It's funny. Funny man. Yes. Only after receiving the blessing of Dendril can a person gain the Dendril Elements dream enhancing power. That explains the feelings of deja vu. There's a cutscene a while later. Should we warn him about that? If you're talking about a cutscene that involves lightning, listen, I, I'm only afraid of lightning and stuff IRL when it's in my purview in the real world. I can experience lightning in games and be fine with it. I can separate myself from the game's reality. Meanwhile, everything in the game no idea that they are is, is not real it can't hurt All me their dreams are stolen from them over and over again I think that's why I handle horror games pretty well because I'm good enough at like not letting myself get immersed fully what's the best best ace combat game uh zero
Oh, Crohn's is, sucks, man. I've got it too. So I'm I'm with you. They recently announced a uh and they're testing a vaccine for autoimmune uh, diseases that might potentially help with Crohn's. And like it's not just Crohn's but like any autoimmune disease like that that covers so many different things that people thought were incurable like it's huge it's it's it could it could change the world like that vaccine can humans really keep dreaming forever like this will it ever end and if so when let's say your mental fatigue has already answered this question eventually there's only uh, so crohn's is an autoimmune time. disease that affects the digestive system Basically, just one part of your uh, intestine has decided that it fucking hates everything and is, like, basically in a permanent state of, uh, um, revolt. Especially those whose health is compromised to begin with, like Dunyarzad. This relentless exploitation takes an even harder toll on them. It doesn't affect me as much. I, f I think I've got a lighter case of it. Um, all I really get is cramps and, um, diarrhea whenever I eat foods I'm not supposed to. Ha ha ha, diarrhea. Uh, and I just get fati uh, fatigued a lot. I'm, like, pretty exhausted a lot of the time. People's lives are at stake here, and nobody knows a thing! We've got to put a stop to this! Stay safe? I've had this for... Since I was like 10, 9. I developed it super early. Um, so I'm I'm super I'm I'm used to this. <laughs> I've already I've already got like a like a system a protocol for for handling it. I think it is hereditary. None of my parents, like none of my family have um any of this. I'm the first one, so I kind of won the genetic jackpot. You developed it at thirteen, yeah. It's it's the it's it's so it sucks so much, like because it's supposed to be like oh you usually get Crohn's when you're like thirty or forty or something, but it's like no, we're the lucky ones that got it when we were kids. And like I would always tell my mom like my stomach hurts so much I don't want to go to school, and she'd be like you're lying. No, I don't want I don't want to be mean about my mom. But she didn't believe me for a long time. <laughs> But then we found out, and then she was like, oh, shit. It's those damn video games that are, uh, that are making your stomach hurt. I know, right? Why did they have to base this dream on my birthday? Could it really just be a coincidence? Just think positive. Just, like, ignore it, Lamau. Even you don't know the reason? Wow. Now that's strange. The Academia Sages are determined to harvest lots of dreams in a short time, no matter the cost. They have to be up to no good. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about it. Traveler, do you have any information? The Grand Sage said... Okay, Nahi... No sp Celebrate the birth of that god? Could it mean? Could it mean? I don't have any Saving questions. Saving the people of Samaru with no regard for their safety. No matter what they're trying to do, this is unforgivable. After we end the Subzerus Festival Samsara, we have to look into them. Video games gave me crones, not clickbait. How can the sages of the academia do this behind their archon's back? This is ridiculous! What does suck about Crohn's is, um, I was unlucky enough to get the, the gallstone special, where, you know, I got gallstones because of it, so they had to get rid of my gallbladder. In the end, I'm just the moon. The real sun is long gone. I'll tell you right now, chat, 
Don't recommend getting gallstones. That shit hurts. A sun and a moon? <sighs> Nahida's talking in riddles again. My, uh, my brother messaged me once and was like, Hey, Ben, what, like, how did it feel for you when you got gallstones? Because I think I have gallstones. And I was like, Hey, are you experiencing pain that is so strong you literally cannot move? Or speak? Because that's what gallstones feels like. Oh, we're out of time today. I'll tell you how to break free. And he's like, no, I can still do all those things. I'm like, cool, then you don't you probably don't have gallstones. <laughs> are we in the are we in the oh, real world? Everything. Should we instead say good morning, Lesser Lord Kusanali? <sighs> I've been through a lot, but like every every tribulation that we face in life, it just makes us who we are. The only way to forge strong swords is to put them in the hottest fires and hammer the shit out of them. Hey, what's wrong, Nahida? You don't look too good. I'm afraid that what you're thinking right now is correct. Did Dunyarzad already disappear? No way. Are... Are we too late? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness has indeed disappeared. It can no longer endure the constant dream harvesting. Damn, rip. <laughs> we were so close! Damn! Paimon can't believe it. Wait, so what about that other Dunyarzad? Just, what is she? She's actually something like a puppet, but not completely. A puppet? The real Dunyarzad's consciousness could no longer keep playing her role in this dream. Rip Bozo? So another Dunyarzad appeared to replace her in the dream. Just like the grass and the trees, that Dunyarzad is just a building block of the dream that helps to keep it going. She became an NPC. But Personality-wise, she's nothing like the real Dunyarzad. Puppets are stiff, and can't copy a living person's vitality. After all, they're just their filler. Oh, okay, so the Dunyarzad that was super boring? I guess I'll hate them coded her. You know, speaking of which, the old Dunyarzad might not have been too different from a puppet. Uh, I might stream for maybe another half an hour. Uh, I think until the end of this this uh, act of the Archon Quest. Because I do need to go get my COVID shot in like an hour and a half. Dunyarzad truly believed that she met you within her consciousness. And it was you who inspired her. So you do remember her after all. Do go get your vaccines, gamers. So you can enjoy fun times with friends. Yes. Back then... Her family was overly protective of her. No one cared about her personality or thoughts. It was as if she only lived to stall her Elazar. COVID shot? You had COVID? No, that's that's not how it works, chat member. You get the shot to help avoid COVID. And, um, Gracie, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Yeah, the vaccines help. It's not 100% protection, because no no vaccine works that way. It's, I just want this shot so I don't get long COVID. I don't mind getting COVID. I just don't want long COVID. That, that's the, the fucky part. I just gave her a little wisdom so she could look at life in a new way. So that she could be her own person. But even so, she's still... Because COVID itself is just like a, just a nasty cold. And, like, I've had a billion of those, so I don't give a shit. But, like, long COVID, that's... That's the shitty thing. Like, that's just straight up, like, oh, one of your senses just doesn't work anymore. Like, that's... That's really bad. Uh, Tsukishis, thank you so much for the five bits. Far from it. I'm still a long way off from being a real Archon. I couldn't even save her. If I were a competent Archon, I wouldn't have let my most faithful follower die at the Subzeris Festival with so many regrets. 
Yeah, it is kind of like the flu from what I've heard. But long COVID, just like... COVID, what it does, when it's in your system, it, like, destroys, like, neural pathways and shit. It legit fucks with your brain. Please don't beat yourself up over it, Nahida. It's the sage's fault, and theirs alone. I... I'm not beating myself up. All I did was to rationally observe the distance between myself and a real Archon. One of the symptoms of Crohn's is fever? Um, the, no. I, don't, I usually don't get fevers. That might be like an extreme case. Don't be like that, Nahida. Are still allowed to be sad. Have a good uh, have a good night, Rat. Thanks for stopping by. To prevent more tragedies like this, we must end the samsara as soon as possible. Great, but how do we do that? I mean, I grew up with asthma and like lung issues, so I would also not like to get COVID. Um, I think if I did get it, it would be a bit of a problem. Uh, I've been lucky enough so far, and I'm still 100% clean, but that's why I want to get this shot as soon as possible, so I can start living a bit more carefree. I'm still wearing a mask everywhere in public, and it's really annoying. I miss just being able to go places without having to have a mask on me. Although the sub Festival dream is under the Akasha's control, only humans can dream. Even the Akasha is unable to create them. That means this dream belongs to a host who created it. Huh? So, how should we find that person? Well, if this is someone's dream, then everything here must come from deep within their consciousness. <coughs> Which means, with the power of imagination, they can change anything in this dream. Imagination? What do you mean by that? Imagination. Imagination means breaking through what you perceive as normal. Like when a server at a tavern brings a plate to you, you'd naturally assume that food is on it. However, if you're the dream's host and you become aware that you're dreaming, when you imagine gold and more on the plate, the dream will respond in kind. And the server really will bring you gold and more. But right now, our host is unaware that this is a dream. No matter how many times they're served, it will always be food. Find some way to make that person realize that they're dreaming. Usually, once that happens, the person will wake up and the dream samsara will be broken. So we have to go to every person and be like, wake up, wake up, wake up. How are we going to find them, though? If it could be anyone, it'd be like looking for a needle in a haystack. And even if we did find them, how are we supposed to make them realize they're dreaming? After all, like you said, don't wake a sleepwalker. It's extremely difficult, yes. But the only ones who can do it are you two. Remember, everything you've achieved up to this point has all been for the sake of finding the host and ending the samsara. As for me, uh, during this time, I'll be out of town. Out of town? Are you going to that place full of dreams where the traveler went? Yes. I, I want to try something. There must still be a small wisp of possibility. Hurry and go. Dreams are supposed to be fantastical, romantic, and full of pleasant surprises. Unnecessary things like this samsara need to end. I really like Nahida. I really... She's, she's like slowly becoming uh, my favorite Archon. Such a simple wish. But fate was against her. Yeah. Saving Dunyarzad is what kept us going this whole time. But we mustn't lose hope, Traveler. Dunyarzad would definitely want to see us save everyone else. So let's break the Samsara for her sake. Paimon's wondering, do you think the Sages would get one of their own to be the host of this dream? Feels like it would be easier to control it that way, no? Huh. That's true. Plus, the sages probably weren't counting on there being other factors beyond their control. Like Nahida and us. So, who do you think the host of the dream is? Ferris, the Knight of Flowers. Oh, that would make sense. Ferris, the 
Night of Flowers is a symbol of the whole of Zeru's festival, right? Pretty core character. Let's go ask him some questions, shall we? God, again with the the so you hate pancakes thing, so you hate waffles thing. Fatis? Fatis? Hmm, you're back. You left in a hurry last time. I is everything okay? Everything's fine. Just, um, it's a little hard to explain. Uh, would you mind taking part in a little experiment with us? An experiment? That came out of nowhere. I'm listening, though. What do you need me to do? If this... If this curly mustache motherfucker is the is the nexus of fate for this act of the Archon Quest, I'm gonna lose my mind. Could you make a wish? You want me to make a wish? Is that a new Sub Zero's festival tradition or something? Less questions, more wishing! <laughs> okay. Okay. Picture Nouvier showing up. P picture Riothelsley. My wish. My wish. Um, okay. I'm a little nervous saying this out loud, but I want Miss Dunyarzad to be happy. Oh. That's a cringe wish, bro. I noticed earlier that she looked a bit down, and she wasn't really talking to anyone. She just doesn't seem like herself. She's always so gentle and kind, and all the kids love her. You could have. You could have had. You could have had anything. You could have had anything. I've also wondered if the reason she asked me to be Ferris Knight of Guys, I know how I know how that character's name is pronounced. Something. I'm doing this to fuck with you. So, you have a crush on Dunyarzad? Uh. <laughs> oh, is it that obvious? After what I just said, I guess it is. It's funnier to say Riothasali. Worcestershire sauce. I know that's that's also incorrect. Just like relax. Risley. <laughs> Charisma. Sorry, I just got a text that I need to answer real quick. Ah, oh, so many people need me. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good, good, good place to, uh, good place to hydrate. I know it's Ricely. I know. Look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. I know. I know it's Worcestershire sauce. Okay? I know. Look into my eyes. When she placed the hat of the Knight of Flowers onto my head, she said to me, I want everyone to have a happy Sub Zerus festival. What she didn't realize was that. I'm not that interested in how everyone else feels. In that moment, I just wanted to be her knight of flowers for the rest of my life. Fifty years, a hundred years, I'll serve her till the end of time. Simp. Okay, yeah, that was a bit much. Felt like the right moment to get it off my chest, but... <clears throat> That was pretty embarrassing. Okay, I'm ready to make my wish. I would like Miss Dunyarzad to appear in front of me right now with a smile on her face. Disaster face. lesbian, thank you so Those... much for five months. Oh, is he summoning Dunyarzad? Please come true. Please come true. I'm is he just gonna, gonna open my eyes? Oh. Uh, oh, you're. What? 
Funky? Uh, sorry, but only one portion of Yelda candies per person. Back home you go. What did you call her? What did you call her? You're not allowed to say that word. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <sighs> nice try, you two. Anyway, never mind. I don't need to see her appear right in front of me. As long as she's happy. <laughs> I'll hate them apologize. Thank you so much for the T1 sub. <laughs> Fucky. Oh boy, I, f I feel for um for the voice director of the game having to having to do that one. Uh, guess he isn't the host of this dream after all. Should have expected it wouldn't be this easy. What if it is fucky? It seems like everyone who knows Dunyarzad loves her. But none of them has any idea that she... My lady, step back. That sounds like Tia! Oh, right. This is when Dunyarzad bumps into the kidnappers! Code Purple, thank you so much for three months. Huh? But Tia can handle them! Yeah, it's not curly mustache. Return to the accommodation. What a weird way of saying that. Oh, it's you. Great timing. Please take... Yep, take your juniors on leave. Leave these guys to me. Hey, this is my job. The homie Yanni's pay me, not you. You're wasting your breath. Leave. You... Ugh, fine, all right. Knock yourself out. Why are you so worked up anyway? It's not like I don't trust your fighting skills. Anyway, watch yourself. Since this is a dream, I can do whatever I want. So you got yourself some backup. <laughs> Suit yourself. You're going down. You're going down. Yeah, I don't you think so. Bust it. Come on. A bit of help to swap. No, my sword. Come at me. Where do you think you'll need? You want this one? Oh, there's another one. Uh, I'm gonna go all out on these nerds. Rain outlines your face. Breaking new ground. There we go. Traveler, were you just taking your anger out on those guys? Yes. I need to kill Paimon. Nikita both. Dunyarzad wouldn't want to see you two Gamers. like this. I need to... I need to stab people, Paimon. Oh, and speaking of her, Paimon just remembered something. I'm feeling the dark urge. <laughs> Remember how during the first Sub-Zero's festival, before the Samsara started, we came here with Dunyarzad because she wanted to pick something up? She said it was because she had forgotten something. I forgot about her forgetting some for forgetting forgot forget forgetting. Okay, so Paimon's memory is working so far. Anyway, Paimon also remembers that she is staying somewhere around here. She pointed it out to us the night before the Subzeru's festival. Isn't Isn't this Oh, Hatham's house? Or am I yeah. misremembering? Even if it's only a tiny clue, it'll probably still help us more than this needle in a haystack search. Oh yeah, he's up the hill. Yeah. Place. It's rude to enter other people's spaces without permission, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Hey, the windows are unlocked. Okay. Uh, Paimon's gonna take a peek inside. Yeah, it doesn't have the tower thing. You're right. Only a temporary it's like built message, into so the tree. Should we open it? Open the book. 
Wait, what happened? Oh, okay. After almost 16 days, I was finally able to get these notes written before the Sabzerus Festival. Once the festival ends, you and Paimon will probably continue your journey immediately. So I was hoping that I'd be able to give you this to you... I'd be able to give this to you before that. This is a compilation of folk legends concerning Lesser Lord Kusanali, created from a series of interviews that I conducted in succession and wrote down. I interviewed so many people, but I'm afraid that there are very few who know much about her. Still, I hope that this will be of use to you in your search for her. Oh my god, that kind of that strains my throat. <clears> throat> uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Wow. Junior Zod wrote all of this. Sounds like she was always thinking of us even while we were away. Even though she was also busy preparing for the Subzeru's festival and had all her health problems to worry about. She must have wanted to give this to us as a gift on the day of the Subzeru's festival, right? If we hadn't found this book, we never would have known. But now that we know, we can't even thank her. Dunyarzad. We can go talk to her robot. Talk to... Yeah, the, the game had the same idea. <laughs> Deco's Kerme is always... Almost always naked. Did you know that? What a thing. What a thing to, uh... Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Also, hey, Zerker. God, this game's so beautiful sometimes. Fuck! Do you wanna know... Do you wanna know why orange is my favorite color, guys? Because of this, like, time of day. I love the color of the sunset. Thank you. Traveler. Arigato. No, it's my it's my first favorite. I never lied. You might have misheard me. You must be exhausted. Come to think of it, we've been stuck in this place for a really, really long time. Heck, even the last time we were chatting happily with Denyarzad feels like an eternity ago. I know Snow White, like, white, Snow White is my second favorite color. And green is my third favorite. So really, my top three colors are just the colors of the Irish flag. Paimon still remembers when we were sitting here. And the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about Nilu's dance of Subzerus. I do like autumn, uh, but winter is my favorite season. There will always be frustrations in life, but I know that the point of living is not to leave behind any regrets. That was what the real Dunyarzad said, wasn't it? I mean, I, I'm... <laughs> Again with this, so you hate this. <laughs> oh, so you hate this, huh? <laughs> That's a whole different message, man. Yes, traveler. It doesn't mean I hate red. Is it? Red's fine. <laughs> so you hate winter? Oh. No. So she's still just a puppet. But just now, how come? Not leave behind any regrets. Huh? Not leave behind any regrets? Not leave behind any regrets. No regrets, Paimon. What? Where are we going this time? We're going to the future. To watch the dance of Subzerus. 
Is is um Nilu actually gonna be able to do it this time? Are we actually gonna see the dance of Zubzerus? Is that what's gonna happen? God, the mu again, the music in this part has been so good. If you continue to resist, we will have to order an investigation into every single event organizer. The Grand Sage has already granted you much leniency. I advise that you exercise tact. How... How did things turn out like this? I am here. Now. Uh, Objection! Uh, you don't have to get involved. He's a sage from the Academia. I don't want to drag you into this. First time chatter, how to stop watching your stream. Um... You... You can... Uh, hit the, uh... There should be a little X at the top right of the web page. You can just hit that. And then I will I will go away. Take that! Traveler. Traveler? Traveler? What the heck are you doing? If you get arrested by the academia, that's another day gone to waste! Did I just strike a pose and not say anything? Wait, they're not reacting. Have they been scared stiff? <gasps> oh, they're puppets. Oh, of course. If this is the sage's plan, they wouldn't put themselves through this. So, what you're saying is, I could kill these guys, and it wouldn't be murder. So they're just substitutes. What is this? What happened to the Grand Sage and his entourage? What's up with those flowers? It's the flowers dream! <laughs> like I said, they symbolize the goddess of flowers. It's just a shame that all the real Potisaras went extinct after her death. Yes. The Greater Lord brought forth new Potisaras in memory of the Goddess of Flowers. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful shade of purple. That's my first thought. Well, listen. I... I've been playing a lot of... Lies of P. Ah, that beautiful shade of purple. And it's Are got me... It, it's got my blood boiling. It's got my bloodlust flaring up. I didn't even notice. Tanya Zod, did you find these? But didn't you just say all the real flowers went extinct after the goddess of flowers passed away? So, how? Yeah. What's going on here? Oh, it's ne okay, Nilu's. Okay, it's Nilu's dream. Uh, huh? Imagine that the Grand Sage is on. Imagine that we killed these these guys. You guys are acting weird. But okay, I'll try. Hmm. Mr. Electric, kill them. Hey. They, they disappeared. Nilu, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> you have to wake up, Nilu. <laughs> Okay, Nilu. Next, I want you to imagine that there's fifty thousand, hundred thousand prima gems right in front of you. It's just like the example Nahida told us. People assume there will be food on a plate, and Nilu assumed there would be real Patisaras in the flower pots. So when you saw the flowers, you instantly knew it was Nilu. Correct. But if we want to end the samsara. We need the host to become aware that they're dreaming. How should we make Nilu realize that? Am I dreaming? Oh, that was easy. Huh? <laughs> 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 so I'm right. Is this Lesser Lord Kusanali responding to our celebration of the Sabzerus Festival? Wrong guess, but you aren't completely wrong either. 
<laughs> the point is, what made you think this is a dream? As far as you know, people in Sumeru don't dream, right? Yeah, but have you heard the tale of the first sage? To prevent a calamity, he went on a journey to find the Dendro Ark. Have you heard the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Ooh, sounds it's familiar. It's not a story the Jedi would Dendro's tell you. Dendro's told us a story like that when we first arrived in Sumeru City. So it was about the first sage, huh? Yep, but in the part you heard, he hadn't become the first sage yet. There's more to the story. Yeah, Nilu's great. She's she's super cool. His piety and wisdom were acknowledged by the Dendro Archon, and she finally gave her blessing to him. All kinds of spectacular scenes appeared in front of the first sage, as if all the knowledge in the world was being painted onto a canvas right before him. He was captivated. Yeah, Danny did fantastic. After who knows how long, he she's just a great actress. Everything she does is just solid gold. Afterward, he said to the Dendro Archon, I miss my parents, my wife, and my children. I've been away from home for far too long. They must be worried. The Dendro Archon smiled. The next second, the sage found himself lying in his bed, as if he had just woken up from a dream. His wife lying next to him said, You're off to search for the Dendro Archon today, aren't you? Have a safe journey, my love. In the end... The first sage took care of many disasters in Sumeru City, and founded the Academia. <sighs> what a happy ending. So, the first sage was dreaming ever since the beginning of the story? He never went on his journey? Yes. But his faith and determination were conveyed to the Dendro Archon, so she blessed him in the form of a dream. Hmm. Paimon understands where you're coming from now. That's a really interesting connection. But we really gotta wake up soon. Like the sage in the story. Wake up, wake up, wake up! I see. Well, it just so happens that today's sub Zero's festival is almost over, too. Is she gonna finish it off with a dance? Since we're in a dream, let's make this final dance of sub Zero's as beautiful as we can. Yep. Dance your heart out. Oh, we get a we get a cutscene cutscene. <sighs> the wait is over, everyone. I dedicate this to our god. The dance of Subzerus. This is like a like a bossa nova remix of the song. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's the whole thing is it's like a homecoming in Xenoblade Three. I'd be lying if I said I had no regrets. I would have loved to see Nilu's dance. Nilu dances. People die, and Nilu dances. When will she stop dancing? I'm glad Dunyar Zad came by to say, hey, what's up? Right over her face, too. Yeah, you get to say Vlima only now. <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs>
guys, guys, guys. <laughs> Holy shit, guys, I need to turn it down. I need to turn it down. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Soft synth, hey, what's up? What a what a moment to, to blast all that. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, what's up, Paimon? <laughs> Is it uh, the dawn of a new day? I remember now. Quick, take off your Akasha terminal. Quick, let's go see Junior Zod. Is she alive? Is she dead? Go to the usual what? spot. What usual spot? Oh, Take yeah, I seat. just saw her teleport in. Well done, Traveler and Paimon. Oh. And thank you, Dunyarzad, for organizing the Subzerus Festival for me. So I guess Nahida's possessing Catherine. I'm sorry. Who are? Did your son? <laughs> You're okay. Oh, don't scare us like that. Oh, a traveler, Paimon. I have something amazing to tell you. Good night, good night, Deco. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate all the gifted subs too. It's so lovely. Thank you. I just had a dream. And I saw Nilu performing the dance of Subzerus. And there were people saying, hey, what's up, constantly in the audience. I was awoken by so much soft synth. And there it is. Yeah, I I know I know I I know how to I know. Okay. Good roll. All right, maybe I'll take one more day off. Leafy, thank you so much for gifting five subs. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, man. Give us one pull in, on the Nouvelle banner. <sighs> All right, guys. Just give me one second. Let me clean up as much as I can. We'll do one, one ten pull, okay? One ten pull for for, for Monsieur Nubile. All right. This is why. This is why. Don't ask me for anything ever again. Okay. I'm hoping we get uh, Xing Zhou. I, this is the one character I didn't want another one of. Thank you, Fischl. I, oh, I literally have so much, I have too many Fischls. It was, uh, no, it was, um, Candace that was constantly, um, oh, you know what, I'll, I'll exhaust all my, all my wishes here. I'll do, I'll do singles. For these next four. Oh? I mean, I do need Fav Lances, so that's good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I already have official C6. And I'm doing good, Zerker. I'm finishing up my move to uh, LA. So I'm just been I've just been busy with stuff. Oh, I forgot to grab all mine. My uh, Freema gems. Also, guys, if you're adding me on friends, I um, I like I I'm, I'm sorry. I'm keeping my friend list to just you know people I know. So sorry. This is like a every time I log in, there's like a hundred new friend requests, and I I'm sorry. I can't do it, chat. I love you guys, but I can't I can't do it. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll do Stardust Exchanges. Do I have any... these? No, I don't. We'll do a couple more. Literally a couple, just two. Anyway, that's it. Um, actually, wait, I might have... I'm supposed to be getting free wishes, uh, for finishing the Archon quest acts, right? Chaotic Tart, thank you so much for gifting five subs! Really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And the journal? Oh, here we go. Wait, no. It's supposed to be this, right? Oh, this is a chasm thing? Ah. Oh. Tauros Hirakondis, Imperatrix Umbrosa, Warford did the spirit quest to Oh man. How did I skip the chasm? Cuz I'm really cool. So wait, whose who's story quests are those? Taurus, Iracundus, and Imperatrix Umbrosa. Okay, so Raiden and Ito, okay. But for this, I need to do... Dracna Somno Somnolenta, which is... Kokomi, and to do her, I need to do... Oh my god. Good lord. Good lord. We're so far away from this asshole. Christ. And this one, too. Alas. Let me in! Let me in! Okay, well, I'll have that unlocked for... for stuff. Yeah, I know I do. I know I have to get through uh, I'll hate them's one, two. I'll do them for you? No thanks. I'm good. I want to play the game myself. Because why, why have a game if I don't play it? Kaveh's hangout was very good. Yeah, it was all right. Navigating the world is a whole lot easier with a few different identities to choose from. Need me to silence. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot. There's so much that I need to do. I I really enjoyed doing all the voice acting for for his hangout. It was fun. Ha! Ha! Um. I think that will be it for... I just wanted to get through the, um... This, uh, this leg of the Archon quest, guys. And I don't really want to start the next one because I heard that one's also pretty friggin' long. And I... Don't want to stream for too long. I have other stuff to do. 
Uh, so here's the plan. Here's the plan, gamers. Uh, Autumn Mochi, thank you so much for the T1 sub. Uh, Wablu the Swablu, thank you so much for your sub. Uh, Yukina, thank you so much for 1,000 biddies. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, thank you so much to all the follows, the subs, the gifts, everything. Um, I will keep you guys posted on what the next stream will be. It will probably be something spooky. I'll, I'll put up a poll or something for spooky games for people to suggest. Um, and we'll see how the strike goes. If the strike goes through, then Genshin will have to be on hiatus for a bit. We'll find some other things to occupy our time. I hope you guys will join me for those too. I know it's not going to be as exciting because it's not Genshin, but I hope you guys will will be there too. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, uh, SAG after is going to be striking interactive or possibly striking. Uh, it's not a sure thing, but they've been approved to strike. Um, if we don't get a deal on certain studios for. AI protection, um, and better rates, and all this other stuff. Um, so if that goes through, uh, I won't be able to play Genshin because I don't want to promote any of the properties that the Struck Studios are working on. And Genshin is unfortunately one of those properties. Um, because Formosa is one of the studios that uh, might be getting struck. Uh, so it all depends on how that goes. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. I'm hoping that things work out in a way that everybody can be happy with. But we'll see. Yeah, I do have a list of indie games. Like, there's going to be stuff to stream. Like, I I will keep giving you guys streams because I love you guys. And I want to keep giving you content. Um, but we'll see how it goes. And, you know, I'll still, like, do co-op streams with other, with other people, and, um, so it'll, it'll be fun. It'll, I, I'll, I'm, I'm hopeful that whatever happens, it'll be fun. Uh, but until then, let's raid somebody. Uh, I guess, um, Alejandro, excuse me, Un, uh, Sai is the person to raid. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Raid message, um, Ben be raiding, Ben be raiding, I guess, and then ook, emote. Anyway, um, thank you so much for stopping, guys. Thank you again for everything, the follows, the, I love, I love you guys so much. You guys are great. You guys are wonderful, and, uh, I'll, I'll keep you posted on what comes next. So, bye. Love you all. Take care. Mwah, mwah. If you just if you just missed the stream, it'll, there'll be a vod coming soon. But anyway, yeah. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>